Well, hello. Hello you guys, it's time for another episode of Fever Watch. Unfortunately it's going to be a really depressing episode, I can already tell you. But keep watching please, because I think we can have a tremendous bonding experience over this. Maybe. I'll be honest with you, I'm going through a bit of a difficult time in my life right now, I can't quite handle it. So, instead of a super exciting episode, I figured I'd make this a real vlog and actually talk about all the crap that's going on. But you don't really care, so I'm not going to go into detail, but just know that things suck. On today's episode of Fever Watch, we're going to discuss how it is that you can survive your own personal bout of rabbit fever. Rabbit fever will henceforth be used as a euphemism for shit that happens to you that you didn't ask for and that you didn't see come in. And guess what? We've all had rabbit fever at some point. Some of us have it over and over again. As you all know, a few weeks ago I was infected at work with a uh, bacteria that can cause some pretty severe disease. Thankfully I caught it in time and was able to start antibiotics and didn't actually develop the disease but it seems like it just sort of started off this chain reaction of unrelated events so it wasn't really a chain reaction but I just feel like my life is like spiraling out of control I don't know what to do about it and I'm sure that I'm not the only person who's ever experienced this so I just want to pass along a few things that I've thought of to try and help myself and perhaps at some point it can help you in your life because let's face it, we all have periods in which life absolutely sucks. Now then, we all know that there are a number of easy ways to deal with rabbit fever. You can turn to alcohol, which yes, it numbs the feelings a bit, but you don't want to numb all the feelings because then you turn into an alcoholic and guess what? That's a bad idea. And then you can't enjoy a drink every once in a while with your friends because you're an alcoholic and you've probably got to start some sort of 12-step program. That's suppressing too. This is depressing. Sometimes you just want to punch somebody in the face. Don't do it. Violence is only the answer sometimes. Punch a small child instead. It's easy to try to look to your friends to help you out when you're in a bad situation. And yes, sometimes friends can be really great. They can really, they can be there, they can help you out, they can make things better but it's important not to rely on them too heavily because they have their own lives and they're dealing with their own rabbit fever. You can mope. That's an easy thing to do. In fact, the following is a dramatic reenactment of a conversation I recently had with myself. What are you doing? Moping. Why? I'm sad. Why are you covered in all of those blankets? This is my nest. It's the middle of July. So? What's that? My monkey. When was the last time you showered? I don't know. Did you eat all of that food? Yeah. You need to get up. No! Leave me alone! You need to get up and do something. No! Why? It'll make you feel better. No! Fine. Stay snuggled in your pit of despair. Okay, I will! Fine. Fine! Fine. Leave me alone! I like happy conversations. 
Life isn't fair. And it's not fair that it's not fair. That's the way it is. And you only live once, literally, YOLO. You don't want to get so hung up on the crap that you're dealing with that you don't get to experience the happy parts of life. Situations where you can do something about it, do it! Don't just sit there being sad or mad about it. Get up and do something about it. If you're like me, you hate confrontation. You hate it. But sometimes, it's the only way that you can get anything done. And it sucks. There's a squirrel right out there, looking right at me, taking a nap in a tree. By now, he's my only friend. His name is Frederick. He's a nice squirrel. But he has to stay outside. Sorry, Frederick. I'm sorry. Learn a new instrument. Pick up a new hobby. Go rock climbing. Go hike the Appalachian Trail. I don't know. Do something to get your mind off of what you're dealing with. Sometimes, if you don't even feel like it, if you make yourself dance really crazy, it can actually make your mood better. <laughs> better already. I might sing you a song. I haven't decided yet. This is a song called Tomorrow Will Be Kinder. Thank you all for watching this week's super depressing episode of Fever Watch. But hopefully, you can walk away with some sort of encouragement. If it's nothing more than realizing that you're not the only one who's going through this. Everybody deals with it. Even the people who act like they've got everything together. They're lying. Don't believe them. They're better at hiding it than you. That's fine. Let them be miserable all on their own. 
next week though I hope to be in a much better mood and hopefully we'll do something really fun and crazy so don't give up on me yet I'm just trying to be real with you all sometimes that's the hardest thing to do until never time have a good one and I'll talk to you all later